What if I told you your biceps aren't really flexing at all? What if the true movers are microscopic levers that lock onto your muscles like millions of tiny grappling hooks, hooks so strong that, when they freeze, even death can't pry them open? Hang on, because in the next few minutes I'm going to expose the surprisingly sneaky truth about myosin heads, the underrated masterminds behind every blink, heartbeat, and high-five you've ever done. Quick recap, muscles are tethered to bones. When muscles shorten, bones pivot, elbow bends, fingers snap, TikTok dances happen. Simple, right? Wrong. Because muscles themselves can't push. They can only pull. So how do they shorten in the first place? Spoiler. It's all about long protein filaments sliding past each other like two teams of rowers shouting stroke at lightning speed. Back in 1954, two science tag teams, Andrew Huxley with Rolf Niedergurka and Hugh Huxley with Gene Hansen, peered into primitive electron microscopes and saw something shocking. The thick and thin filaments in muscle cells weren't shrinking or snapping. They were sliding. The theory was radical, and it still holds up today. But hold on. If they slide, what does the actual grabbing and pulling? Hint, it's shaped like a golf club with attitude. Each myosin molecule looks like two golf clubs whose handles twist together. The club heads stick out from the thick filament like Velcro hooks. Each head binds to actin, swivels using chemical energy. Let's go, then resets. Repeat that roughly 5 times per second in your slow twitch calf muscles or up to 50 times per second in your hummingbird fast eye muscles. That's a lot of club swings. Ever wondered why your eyelids don't weigh a ton even though they flutter 12,000 times a day? Yep, thank your myosin heads. The swivel costs energy and the currency is ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Picture it like the world's smallest rechargeable battery. The myosin head splits ATP, pocketing that burst of power to bend its neck and yank actin. Fun fact, when you die, ATP production stops, myosin heads can't detach, and your muscles lock tight. That spooky stiffness has a name, rigor mortis. See? I promised secrets. Try clenching your fist as hard as you can for 30 seconds right now. Feel that burn? That's ATP getting spent faster than it can be replaced. Type fist of fire in the comments if you felt the burn. But ATP alone won't let the head grab actin. Another chemical bouncer, calcium, has to move the security rope called tropomyosin off the dance floor. When a nerve zap floods the fiber with calcium, tropomyosin slides away, actin is exposed, and the myosin heads say, let's boogie. Without calcium, no entry, no dance, no movement. Ready for a curveball? The power stroke. Most textbooks show as one single yank is actually two linked motions, a pre-power tilt and a post-power shove. Recent cryo EM snapshots caught the head in both positions, proving it's not a one-hit punch but a double-jointed karate combo. That means we underestimated how much force a single head can generate by almost 30%. Remember our golf club? Turns out it's a folding switchblade. Not all myosin heads are built the same. Your slow-twitch fibers, the marathon champs, have heads that split ATP slowly but cling longer, conserving energy. Your fast-twitch sprint fibers burn ATP like espresso-fueled teenagers and let go fast. Heart muscle has a special cardiac myosin. Mutations here can cause hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, a scary thickening of the heart wall. Got a family history of sudden athlete collapse? Doctors sometimes trace it to those very myosin heads misclicking. Wild, right? When I, a not-so-athletic anatomy nerd, once tried rock climbing, I hung from a grip until my forearm cramped. That cramp? Local ATP depletion. My myosin heads latched on but couldn't let go. A mini rigor mortis in my living arm. I dropped like a stone. But hey, that's how you learn physiology the hard way. Scale time. One sarcomere, your basic contractile unit, is about 2 micrometers long and has roughly 300 myosin molecules, each with two heads. That's 600 heads every 2 micrometers. Your biceps pack billions of sarcomeres. Do the math. You're carrying a microscopic army bigger than all humans that ever lived, ready to mobilize whenever you say, move. Tell me in the comments, which everyday movement amazes you most now that you know this army is working behind the scenes? When myosin heads misbehave, we get diseases. 
Myosin storage myopathy. Heads clog the fiber like traffic. Dilated cardiomyopathy. Weak power strokes enlarge the heart chambers. Hearing loss? Yep, your inner ear hair cells rely on a form of myosin too. So technically, yes, bad myosin can make you tone deaf to your favorite playlist. Here's the bottom line. Every flex, fist bump, or heartbeat is powered by trillions of tiny swing arms, the myosin heads, each burning molecular fuel, unlocking calcium-guarded gates, and performing a two-step power stroke. They're the ultimate blue-collar laborers of your body, clocking in non-stop until the day ATP paychecks stop coming. And speaking of calcium gates, next week, we'll hack into the brain-muscle messaging system, the neuromuscular junction, where electricity, chemistry, and sheer drama collide. You do not want to miss that backstage pass. If this microscopic reveal blew your mind, smash that like button so the algorithm flexes for us. Drop a comment, fist of fire, or share your weirdest muscle story, and I'll be hanging out in the replies. Share this with the friend who still thinks muscles inflate like balloons. And of course, subscribe to New Anatomy and Physiology video, and hit the bell so you never miss the next secret drop. Feeling generous? Tap thanks below. Every donation feeds more late-night caffeine for these deep-dive scripts. I'm Ani, and remember, big moves start with tiny levers. See you in the next dissection.